HD family, before we get started, let's try their Afghani Sheer Chai, which has green tea, cardamom, and some milk. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All right. Alhamdulillah, very nice. Very warming, alhamdulillah. Tastes like actually like Kashmiri chai, honestly. Uh, nice and pleasant fr and fragrant. Not too sweet, very enjoyable. Must try at Afghan Kebab. Let's get started, Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. family. Welcome back to the Halal Digest. If you want to continue watching Halal food reviews like these, make sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and click the little bell. I'm so excited. Today, we're going to be trying a Halal Afghani restaurant in the north suburbs of Chicago, and I can now wait to Halalify. HD family, we're going to be checking out Afghan Kebab in Morton Grove, Illinois, and it is HMS certified by Sharia Board of America, and I can now wait to Halalify. HD family, I pretty much got most of their menu except their lamb shank, so let's get started. Today we're going to be halalifying their chicken and beef chapli kebab, mashallah. We're going to be halalifying their chicken shami kebab, their beef shami kebab, their lamb kebab, and their chicken shish kebab. Uh, we also got a couple of their rice dishes. We got one of the dill rice uh, and one with the brown rice, the, the carrots, and the raisins. Alright, so we got a few of their appetizers. Of course, we got their mantu, their ashuk, their... Burani Kadu and finally their Burani Bedinje. Let's get started with this amazing meal. Again, what a blessing to be having this amazing meal. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alright, family. First of all, let's get started with their chapli kebab. I'm a big fan of chapli kebab, uh, beef and chicken. I'm more of a fan of chicken, but it's really hard to find. Most places they say they're out of the chicken, chicken chapli kebab. So let's get started with that. First of all, in general, either beef or chicken uh, uh, chapli kebab. This is mixed with onions, tomatoes, different herbs, seasonings, and it's charboiled and has a little bit of sumak on top, alhamdulillah. First of all, look at this. Look at the size and the thickness of that chapli kebab. It looks and smells amazing. So, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Look at that, mashallah, bismillah. So let's just take a piece here. First bite for our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan. All right, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is a chicken chapli kebab, bismillah. Alhamdulillah, Afghan kebab is starting off the right way. Juicy, flavorful. This is one of the best, honestly, chapli kebab. It tastes like homemade chapli kebab. One of my very good friends, whose mom would make me chapli kebab all the time at work. Um, uh, may Allah bless her. Uh, this tastes like hers, and I'm very, very, uh, tastes similar in terms of quality and texture. Alhamdulillah, a really, really nice chapli kebab. Already a must try when you go to Afghan Kebab, their chicken chapli kebab, alhamdulillah. Next HG family, we're gonna try their beef chapli kebab. Again, just look at the size, look at how beautiful it looks, and you guys can't smell, but it smells amazing, alhamdulillah. This time it's with the beef. All right, bismillah rahman rahim. So let's take a piece here. Bismillah rahman rahim, bismillah. Mm. Alhamdulillah, I mean, a really, really nice, juicy chapli kebab. It's different than the Indian Pakistani chapli kebab, where it's a little bit thinner, there's a little bit, a little bit more crunchy, a little bit more spicy. This tastes almost like a kufta kebab, almost. I think I enjoy it more. Um, but it has, you know, different spices as well. Really enjoyable. Also, I highly recommend it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. A great Afghani style chapli kebab. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Enjoy it. All right, Steve family, let's take a break here from the meat dishes. I want to try a couple of their appetizers. So one thing that I normally don't like is eggplant, but Afghani style eggplant introduced me to starting liking eggplant. So this is called Betanjan Chalao. This is a sliced sauteed eggplant garnished with different herbs drizzled in a homemade garlic sauce. So here we have some eggplant with other spices and a little bit of, I think some like a yogurt based sauce. And it looks amazing. I'm really, I always really like this dish from Afghani places. All right, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I don't even know how to explain it. It really brings out the sweetness and they put different spices and it's really, really pleasant. I must try it. This is a really nice betanjan from Afghan Kebab. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah. Next up, we're going to try their Kadu Chalau. This is a sliced sauteed butternut squash, also with different spices and drizzled with their homemade yogurt sauce as well. All right. Bismillah, Rabbil Alameen. Let's check it out. Bismillah. Mm. This is really sweet. I like it, but I don't know if I would 
uh, personally eat it with a main dish. I think it's something I would kind of like snack on at the end of the meal eating with some bread. The texture is like mushy almost. It, the, squa the squash literally just melts in your mouth. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Pretty enjoyable overall. Next Ishi family, we're going to try their Sabzi Chalau. This is pureed spinach cooked with onions, garlic, different herbs. All right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. Hmm. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So spinach with different spices. Pretty enjoyable. I think it's worth a try to try everything. Um, I like it. But again, I don't know if I would order it like with the main dish. Maybe, maybe I'll just try it and kind of let it be. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Now that these dishes are spicy, maybe this one's a little bit peppery, but uh, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, fairly enjoyable overall. Last but not least, HG family, we're gonna try their mantu, which is steamed dumplings filled with ground beef, chopped onions, different herbs, also topped with their yogurt sauce. All right, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's check out their mantu here. Bismillah. Mm. Mm hmm. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. The actual dumpling is very well cooked. Very well steamed, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. There's just, there's a, there isn't, it's not packed with meat. And it's just subtle. You can taste the flavor of the onions and the meat, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. I definitely recommend trying it overall, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. I'm really happy with this dish so far. I got four out of the five appetizers that they offer. I didn't get the chickpea one. I'm not sure why I should have done it. But anyways, next time inshallah, because I'll definitely be back. Before we get back to the Macy family, let's try some of their rice with their raisins and the carrots. So this is brown rice. All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I really, really enjoy this rice because it gives it like a different texture, a different flavor than your normal rice. All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is actually really brown rice because I'm not a fan of brown rice. It's really dry. Maybe it's normal rice that they ha they heavily seasoned and it's brown. But it is really flavorful rice. Alhamdulillah. And one of the, honestly, the best rice dishes I've ever had. Very deep in flavor. Um, Alhamdulillah. Very, very enjoyable. Ishi hey, family, they also have the rice with dill and the white beans or green beans or whatever color these are. This is something I also enjoy. Bismillah mm. ar-Rahim. I know I enjoy it because it's just so buttery and flavorful. Alhamdulillah. I got both to try. Either way, you're gonna enjoy, inshallah. All right, Shifam, let's get back to some of the meats here. Let's try their chicken shami kebab. These are juicy strips of charcoal ground chicken mixed with Afghani seasoning and herbs, and it looks amazing. All right, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Check that out, bismillah. Mm -hmm. Juicy, flavorful, really, really enjoyable. An excellent, excellent ground chicken kebab. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Another must try Afghan kebab. I've been impressed with all their dishes, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, so far. Next, AC family, let's try its beef counterpart. Bismillah, Rabbil Alameen. Let's check it out. Also looks amazing. Bismillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. A really nice beef kebab. So juicy. Um, and has good flavor, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. It's definitely, if you like a beef kebab, you're definitely gonna enjoy this, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Next, HD family, we're gonna try their, their chicken shish kebab. This is charred broiled chunks of boneless chicken breast, marinated in special Afghani seasoning, and it looks amazing, mashallah. Bismillah rabbil alameen, let's check it out. Mm. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. This is a really well marinated chicken. It is juicy, it, it is flavorful. The, the, the flavor really permeates the whole chicken, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. A really, really nice chicken shish kebab. Last but not least, HT family is their lamb kebab, which is, uh, they describe as delicate pieces of succulent loin of lamb, marinated with their special Afghani seasoning, charred broiled to perfection. And it looks amazing, actually, and you know, HT family knows I'm not a big fan of lamb, but I wanted to give it a try. Bismillah rahman rahim First of all, there's no gimme flavor, which is a win. And second of all, they really taste amazing. They are actually char bro really to perfection. It has really, it's grilled very well, juicy on the inside, very well flavored, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. A must try Afghan kebab, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. What a blessing to be able to enjoy this good food. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. I want to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to have this blessing. I want to thank our subscribers, our viewers, and our future HD family subscribers for supporting the channel. 
the HC family knows we're not only here to halalify good food, which I have verified that Atkan Kebab has good halal food, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And if you have to try a couple of dishes, I would definitely go for their chicken shami kebab, their chicken chapli kebab, and a few of their appetizers. Really, really amazing, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. But we're also here to be a benefit. As AC Family knows, by simply watching our videos from beginning to end, you'll be helping support a channel that will help support charitable organizations. As always, we encourage what is good and we stand against injustice and oppression. We are with our brothers and sisters in Gaza, in Palestine, in Syria, in Yemen, in Lebanon, in Jordan, in Turkey, in Egypt, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in India, our Rohingya, and we got our brothers and sisters, our Kashmiri brothers and sisters. Our brothers and sisters in Somalia, in Sudan, in Nigeria, in Kenya, in Libya, in Morocco, in Algeria, here in America, in all of North America, in South America, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia, in New Zealand, in Korea, in Thailand, in Philippines, in Indonesia, in Malaysia, and everywhere where Allah and His Messenger are raised and praised. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a benefit to all of humanity. Based on the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And with that, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be to you all.